Hello and welcome to Montessori from the heart. I'm Anya. Today's lesson is on simple addition using counters. And this lesson should be presented to a child who has a strong understanding of numbers 1 through 10 and who has an understanding of the written form since we either will be using number tiles or any numerals you have or you can also use a chart where you can write your equations so this is what you're going to need for the lesson we're going to need two identical bowls or baskets or any other small containers you have and these will be representing the add-ins and the reason they're identical because of the commutative property of addition so we want them to be the same meaning no matter how we position them the sum which is represented by a distinctly different ball will be the same so we need two identical balls or baskets and one very different ball it can differ in color or in texture or in size we also will be using manipulative something concrete that the child can hold and transfer and count those are called counters and you can use whatever you have at home i am using marbles you can use uh, poker chips counting bears just one thing have them be all the same color because we want to eliminate visual distraction so the same color counters then as i mentioned we're going to need any type of a numeral so anything that represents a number in its written form so here i'm using wooden cards you can also download this template in the description below and use this chart to write out your equation so if you are using this chart you will not need the equal and the addition sign so for the purposes of this lesson i'm going to show you how you can easily make it diy so we're going to use this dry erase cube and i'm going to simply draw an addition sign with a dry erase marker and it is very important to explain to the child that this sign means we are adding things together and then i'm going to draw another sign i'm going to draw an equal sign and you're going to show it to a child and explain that we will place this sign right before the different ball and that will mean that we will be adding the content of two baskets and figuring out the sum. And this is how you will present the lesson. First of all, we're going to need a large mat. The mat defines the space and it also gives a child a sense of order plus they know what they need to clean up once we are done with the activity so i'm going to use a dry erase cube and i'm going to draw the plus sign and we're going to tell the child that this plus sign means that we are adding things together and remember we need a third distinctly different ball to represent the sum we're going to use another dry erase cube and draw an equal sign And we're going to position it right before the third ball that represents the sum we're going to need counters again make sure they're all the same color we don't want any visual distraction and here i'm going to show you how 
we can do it using wooden tiles and also how we can do it using a chart. So we're going to pick two numbers, start small with younger children. For example, we have three and two. So the idea behind Montessori philosophy is to introduce the concept in a most concrete hands-on way. So you would first demonstrate to the child the entire lesson, and it is really important to reiterate each step, such as counting each marble one by one, even if it seems redundant, because this is how a child is learning. They watch what we do, they watch our presentation, and they will mimic, and then in turn, do an activity on their own. So we will pick two numerals, start with smaller ones. This says three. One, two, three. Make sure to count and transfer a marble at a time, counting each aloud. Plus, plus means we are adding things together. Two, this says two. One, two. Again, plus means we are adding things together and equal means the sum, what we end up with. And you would take both baskets and transfer the content into the sum basket. Move the numerals to the side. We're going to take the third basket, pour the content on the mat, and what we're going to do, we're going to line them straight, and we're going to count them again one by one. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see where we can find a number tile that says five. This says five, and this is five. So three plus two equals five. You can also use this addition chart and write simple equations. Be mindful how old your child is to see how high you can go in numbers for them to count. Two, this says two, one, two. Plus, plus means we are adding things together. Four, one, two, three, four. The equal sign means the sum, what we end up with after we add the two add-ins together. Let's see. Again, line them up. Let's see what two plus four is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two plus four equals six. And if you have a writing child, you can invite them to write the number six. And you will proceed in a similar manner with the rest of the equations. I would also like to talk about Montessori math versus traditional approach to math. So Montessori approach to math is quite unique since a child is introduced to concrete quantities way before any numeration is introduced. As opposed to in a traditional school setting, children are introduced to numbers in their written form, which is just a symbolic representation of true quantity, which is very confusing for the young minds. So instead of showing them the number three, you can hand them three apples 
all three marbles, the younger the child, the more substantial the quantity should be, since this is how they encode to memory what this weird symbol really means. It means three of something. So the younger the child, the bigger the manipulatives or the counters. And that is why in a Montessori math curriculum, we start with a number rod. So children understand best when they can feel and touch. So a number rod, which is one of the very first Montessori math materials, which you can introduce to a child starting anywhere two years plus, is very concrete. So this stands for one, this stands for two. So a little one understands very concretely that one is small, while a 10 rod, which they can barely carry, is really big. And then each lesson builds upon each other and we are gradually decreasing the size and the weight and the concreteness of the manipulatives. So make sure before you introduce simple addition to your child using marbles, which you can see, are quite small compared to a number rod. Make sure they had a solid foundation with concrete counters such as number rods or spindles.